All right, guys, the first one we're going to do is uh, ankle supination and pronation. And again, just as a reminder, we're just really looking for a noticeable discrepancy from right to left. Is your left severely limited in terms of the range that is displayed when you pronate and supinate as compared to the other foot? Um, when we have a quality, we would sort of say that that, that would be a clear, uh, clear assessment there. When we see some inequality, we want to make a note of that and uh, generally attack the one that is limited relative to the other. Okay, so here's the first one, foot pronation and supination. You're going to stand and your partner's going to be behind you or your coach is going to be behind you. And then from here, you're going to drive the weight to the outer edge of your feet as far as you can, basically while still keeping your toes in contact with the floor. And then you're going to roll your ankle in as far as you can. Okay? And you're going to go through this a few times. Out, full range, back in, full range, out, full range, back in, full range. Okay? And that's going to be ankle pronation and supination. And you're just looking at the heel cord especially, um, and, but then the whole back of the ankle. And we just want to see some nice equality when we go back and forth. And if there isn't, we want to note the side we have a problem on and then move on from there. And then there's some implications for uh, each piece that we're doing in terms of your training. For instance, on your sheet, for foot, ankle, supination, and pronation, implications for training, locomotion and jumping require natural pronation and supination of the foot, careful of overloading, double unders, running, jumping, and single leg activity, uh, so on and so forth, especially when we have a real imbalance. Okay, so that's, we're gonna do that this week, and then we're gonna do one other one around the ankle and the gastroc. I'll show you the next one in a second.